Well, good morning to you. I'm meteorologist Caroline Carithers with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with your Friday morning, September 29th tropical update. And as of right now, we're actually tra tracking two areas here. Tropical Storm Philippe, which we've been tracking for quite some time now, and newly developed Tropical Storm Rena. Notice how close they are to one another. Now, they are affecting each other. They are interacting a little bit. No, they're not going to combine into one big superstorm. That's not really how it works, but they are actually close close enough to where they're imparting wind shear on each other. Now, keep in mind, wind shear is not great for tropical systems, not good for tropical development. So this is actually helping keep them in check and they're going to maintain tropical storm status pretty much through their entire lifetime. So let's start with tropical storm Rena here. Max winds at 45 miles per hour. It's moving to the north northwest at around six miles per hour. So eventually it's going to move north of Philippe and it's going to eventually become a depression moving into earlier next week and then eventually become a remnant low moving into midweek next week and it's going to be steered north by a ridge of high pressure that's going to be building out to its west. So in the Atlantic near Bermuda, we're going to see that ridge of high pressure build and kind of steer arena to the north. Now here's Philippe. Max winds at 45 miles per hour, a little bit stronger here. It is expected to just kind of meander in the Atlantic as arena pushes north and then it's eventually going to be turned northward as well thanks to that same ridge of high pressure. It will eventually start to weekend midweek next week as well. So the good news is these are currently moving, are going to be moving north. This is not a threat to the United States at this time. Neither is Rena. So we have no current tropical threats to our stretch of the Gulf Coast, which is good news. If you ever have any questions, you could head to WKRG.com, search for a hurricane map room. It has all the latest graphics and all the details you need to know.